volleyball is a very unique sport because offense can change to defense and defense can change back to offense in a moment's notice. Today we go on the volleyball court with Mary Paul and Brooklyn Smith as you go through Marauder Eyes. All right, we're joined by redshirt junior outside hitter Mary Paul. And Mary, my first question is, before the attack, how do you know that it's you that's going to be set up for that uh, particular attack? Um, usually we look at the blockers, see the mismatches on the other side, um, and depending on what the setter, also with the pass, you know that I can adjust my attack or know if I will be set. Okay, so then when you go up to make the hit, is there anything in particular that you're looking for in the defense as far as cues and where to hit it and where to attack? Yes, um, I do look first for blockers' hands, if there's a closed double block up there, I see if it is closed or not, see there's a hole. I also see where the defense plays the back, if they're playing a little deeper, maybe tip it or roll it short, or I can get them deep. Okay, uh, my third question is that after you've made your attack and you have to switch to defense right then, within an instant, uh, what are your responsibilities? Uh, first to see where the hitters are and locate especially the middle hitter, that's where I am, and then also where the pass went after I did attack the ball, where the dig went, and I can adjust my attack to get a closed double block up for our team, our defense. Uh, would you rather be above the net making that attack, or would you rather be back, back in a defensive position and uh, ready to defend the attack? I mean, I never got the chance to play back row um, yeah. before. I've always been up at the front being the tall girl. Um, but I, I think I do like the blocking. I do think because you're always involved in the play, and especially in the middle, you are, you are blocking at every point. So I do like the front. Okay. Yes. That's all. Thank you. All right. We're now joined by sophomore libero Brooklyn Smith. And Brooklyn, for the people that don't know who are watching this video, what is the, the libero position and what is that different colored jersey? Uh, what responsibilities does it give you over the other players? Uh, the libero is a defensive specialist and our job is to make sure that we're passing on point so that our team can run a successful offense. And the different color jersey is just because I go in for more rotation so I don't really sub in. I can just go in and out whenever I want to. So adding on to that rotation, you're subbing in and out very frequently. Um, does that have any effect on your feel for the game or, or your focus on the game? Um, no, not that much. It's really, I'll be out for maybe like a play and then as soon as we get the ball back, I'm right back in. So it's really not that much time for me to like get settled and it also gives me a time to just like look at what's happening and look what I can do to help the team. Okay, so responsibilities when the offense is about to make their attack. Mm -hmm. Where do you have to be on the court and, and how do you know where to be when the, uh, when the attack's about to go down? Um, there's usually, I'm in a base position at first when the ball's over the net, and when the ball is set, I'm usually looking for any seams in the block, which is like an opening, so I'll usually fill those holes, and that's usually where the ball's going to go, or I'm just on my toes, ready to react to any plays that are going to happen. So when that attack is coming at you, what's it like to defend it with that, with that ball coming at a high rate of speed coming at you? Is that intimidating at all, and what's that like? Um, sometimes at a specific angle, if like I'm on the line and it's coming at me, but you know, or if it's a really hard hit, then it's like wow, like that was crazy. But mostly, it's just I'm so used to it that it's almost just natural to me. All right, that's all. Thank you. Thanks. 